is you can see is the start of our install on the lift for the third gen uh first of all we're going to start out you know i'm going to show you everything that came with the kit and we'll go from there so let's get started uh here is the instruction manual <clears throat> usually no one wants to go through this but never done this before so we'll give it a whirl as you can see it is a super lift six inch lift system and uh no i am not sponsored by them in any way shape or form <laughs> this is just a lift i saw and a setup that i liked so i decided to get also you can see it dropped it send you some stickers you know for your shocks and then just a sticker for your window american flag sticker who doesn't want that and the warning driver sticker that needs to go on your windshield somewhere where the driver whoever's driving the vehicle can see it so it doesn't void your warranty the warranty i believe is uh certain parts or whatever as long as they're not modified or anything like that but then again like i said not not sponsored by them by any means so we're gonna go ahead and start taking a look at the parts so as you can see in this first box this is all bunch of hardware stuff this is going to be like your uh, brake hose extensions stuff like that so, you know it's it's going to be taller so they need to be extended or else you're going to bust a hose or anything like that so most of this, that stuff is in here and then this is your e-brake or foot, uh, your e-brake uh, extender right here as you can see i've already pretty much gone through all of this they're they've all been opened so i kind of separated out so much and these are the numbers that are going to be on the instruction manual it's the hardware bag where certain things are going to be these are going to be your front uh, bump stops this one i couldn't find anywhere but sure we'll figure it out along the way some more hardware and then this bag's just a bunch of bushings and stuff these are mostly for the uh, control arms this, that's all that for in that bag and then all that's in this box is these. They had to send them to me later because uh, they were out of stock. But I got them pretty quickly. They are the rear bump stop extenders. So basically your other rubber uh, bump stop that's in the rear. You basically just bolt it onto here and it extends it. The other ones in here, that's all that's in that one. This one's got a little bit heavier stuff. This is basically our rear. This is gonna be our blocks, our rear lift blocks. They're pretty heavy, it's like pretty good quality. And uh, our U-bolts, or whatever, yeah, U-bolts. And there's the bolts for that. So this is basically all U-bolts and the rear block kit. So most of the rear right there. Now into our bigger boxes. The packaging wrap stuff. This is where our bigger stuff is. Uh, this is our front control arm extender or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, once I remember, we'll get back to this one. But I, I know it's like an extender for the control arm or something. These are extended Pittman arm. As you can see there. Comes with a warning label. 
And then these are for our front bump stop. They're the extenders, just like the other ones. As you see here, basically, gonna go like so. Bump stop extender for the front. And then here's all our shocks. As you can see, these are our front shocks. Because they have, uh, no, these are our rear shocks. Because they have both loops on the bottom and the top. And here's our front Because <coughs> they don't have the loop on the top like the rear do. These are our sway bar link extenders, right here. Like I said, all the hardware is listed in the instruction manual right next to where the part is. Uh, here's our other bump stop extender for the front. And these are our extended control arms. Open one of these so you can see it. These are probably the top, these are the bottom. And there's one of them. Extended control arms. Like I said, bushings and stuff in here. All that good stuff. The part numbers are also on the parts themselves. Like I said, <coughs> the instruction manual is pretty detailed. So you can see right there, part number for this. that's gonna do it for this box and then our last box we're gonna open right down here because there's not much in this one uh, this is the instruction manual for the transmission drop bracket but uh, since I have a manual transmission uh, the basically say it's not required to drop the transmission at all and here's our new front coils and uh, over here is basically our transmission drop bracket if you ever dropped your transmission you can kind of guess how this would go and then these these are just the bolts that would go with this. So that's the transmission drop bracket. And these are our new drop coils. Pretty beefy looking. But yeah, that's basically the kit. But uh, I'm gonna try to keep the lift all in one video. I don't know if I'm gonna split it up into three different parts, like the front the rear and then just the extended uh stuff like the hardware and stuff like that but i'll see how i do that if not it'll be a two or three part video but uh i kind of don't like the idea of that so i might just try to put it all into one long video for you guys as you can pro probably see it's uh pretty decently cold out here this morning still that's why i have a hoodie on and jacket but uh we're gonna try and get this started i might record some other stuff before i reveal the whole uh suspension install but we'll get going with this and let's get her started uh quick update here uh quite a bit later a couple hours we got quite a bit of it taken apart uh, i'll show you guys here i'll kind of use the instructions as like a guideline but uh you can see we got a lot of this the, we got our shocks out and everything but according to the instructions first you should install your uh, transmission drop but we don't have to so we detached our sway bar links it just has to detach the end links themselves I just took the whole thing out just to give me a little more room for to do things and then 
After that, you remove the shock absorbers, which you can see I already did. I did on both sides. And then you disconnect the track bar, which is right here. Disconnect it from there. Which, by the way, guys, that part, I can't remember uh, the name of it or what it was for or whatever. That's what it's for. It's a, the track bar extension. So it's going to bolt on to here. And I think, according to the instructions, we're going to make another hole over here. And it's going to link on to that one. But we'll get to that. Um, we also unbolted the drag link, as you can see. And we took the nut off of the pitman arm. And then to remove the shock on the passenger side, I just took off the battery uh, box thing. It just uh, gives me more room on this side. It's more in the way of the top tower on the side it's not as much in the way I was able to work around it but we got those out so we're at the point where we're gonna start removing the control arms but the control arms they have a uh, a certain uh, eccentric cam bolt location, the lower ones. So they go a certain way depending on your alignment. But uh, I made a mark here. As you can see, kind of with the line, this line is already on here. I just marked it to because you got to get it as close as possible for reference to when you align it. Basically, it's the... Uh, alignment for your axle so there's one there and back here you can see it's got these little circles and I made a line right there the other side as well on both sides so just make sure you scribe on it or use a scribe scratch a line on there or something something to show you where it goes but uh, we got quite a bit done here. What is up guys? Well, it is way, way later into the lift install. We're practically in the last couple things to get done. Um, sorry for that lack of footage, but since this is a pretty rusty old, uh, used to be farm truck, uh, I did have some issues, but uh, I'll give you guys the rundown here. All right, starting with the front here, you can see we got the control arms on, uh, new coil, the uh, soy bar leak extenders. Kind of still messing with that because this looks kind of close to me, but maybe that's just me right now since it's not completely tightened. Um, the biggest part, the, the biggest uh, problem here we had was the lower cam bolt for this uh, lower control arm. Uh, this one basically just busted when we tried taking it off. So that was the first problem. So we had to order all new hardware for the control arms. And we did, but then when we were trying to take it out, it was the bolt itself was seized to the sleeve there's a sleeve right there but here's the, the side as you can see we literally just cut them off on both sides and then i basically had the uh, bend the link it goes into and eventually pull it out so that was the biggest pain right there and then, as you can see, we got our new pitman arm on there. We just got to get it tightened down. That one wasn't as hard as I thought. I just rented a puller, and it came off pretty easily. I had to beat it with a hammer a couple times, but I got it off of there. And here's our track bar. Uh, 
lowering thing. And uh, the only, this goes, this bolt just goes into the original hole where the track bar mounts onto. And then it has another bolt. It has another bolt up in there. It just goes through there. It's got a bolt up here above that. Uh, engine cross member right there. And then the only hole you really have to drill is right there into the uh, frame piece that's right there. But that wasn't very hard either. And then we got our new bump stops here in the front. That's where we're at in the front. Basically everything's done. Faced, uh, another problem we faced here was, here's our old uh, lift block or whatever you want to call it, leveling thing. But I don't have the originals of this, the stock ones, uh, because these came with the truck. So I ended up having to order some. Like I'll put the link in the description for everything I had to order on top of that, including the uh, bolts for the upper and lower control arms. It was a whole kit, all four, all, all eight for both sides. But yeah, I had to get that. And then basically we got this whole front end back together. Um, basically we're at the point up front here where we just have to tighten things up and the last thing I really have to put on is the shocks and our brake hose extenders I just haven't put those on there I was missing like the bolt for this one busted so I had to get a new one but I just got that one at the local hardware store just something I picked up uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for the front here on the back there's not much um, here let's see what we're from the back as you can see we got the bed back on it's not bolted down or anything yet but it's getting there backs literally just the blocks bigger blocks we slid under there came with new u-bolts torqued them down and everything uh the shocks are the the super lift brand shocks uh this is the cheaper option for this lift I just went with it because it was with, was within my budget, but they do have a Bilstein shock option. Uh, we got the fuel tank back up, but yeah. Other than that, it's just there's supposed to be an extender for this e-brake cables down here. The e-brake doesn't work anyways on this thing, or the foot brake, whatever you want to call it but it doesn't work on this thing so once we get it running we'll see if it affects anything i'll probably mess with it later on if it doesn't if not we'll get it all figured out but yeah we just got to get the lift pump back up on the back here and this thing bolted back down that's pretty much the rundown of the back like i said the bump stops here we don't even have the rubber piece for this and we're supposed to reuse the stock piece but if not I might just put the metal piece the extenders on there but we'll see but you can tell it is a lot taller than it was before already and as you can see we got the shock on the front oh almost gotta get bolts down